This one is based on so this this paper. So archive two one 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 five two eight three and so this work was collaborated in uh, con conducted in collaboration with uh Seki and Yujiro Matsuzaki and Shiro Kawabata. Okay, so okay. So we so we introduce uh so our purpose and results. So yes, so so the so when we uh when we when we perform the QA, so the yeah, sources of computational error in QA is uh consists of two components and no adiabatic transition and the effect of the coherence uh, or um, so environmental noise. So our purpose is to redu reducing the computational error in QA. And so our result uh, in this work is uh, so three component and at first, so proposal of method of variational action of inhomogeneous 3D operators on the driver Hamiltonian. And the next one, so demonstration of the above method for ground state search of hydrogen molecule. And the last one, so no, no adiabatic transitions for the, the above method and an estimate of the effect of the coherence. Okay. Okay, so we introduce the uh, quantum annealing. Uh, so we prepare the annealing Hamiltonian so as a follow. So this one, so equation number one. So where HP denotes the program Hamiltonian and the HD denotes the drive Hamiltonian. So the, so, so first, so step one, so we prepare the ground state of HD. And next step, so time evolved for small t from zero to large t using, so this Hamiltonian, so annealing Hamiltonian. And so large t is called annealing time. And last step, so we obtain the ground state of HP. Okay, so this is quantum annealing. And so next, so we introduce the twist operator. So in our method, so we use uh, this operator. So we define the twist operator as a follow. So this one, so equation number two, this one. And so where, so sigma j k, so this one, you know, the power matrices um, defined on the so j side. And next, so watch l, denotes the site number. And so this one, so theta j denotes the twist parameter, parameters. And we define the analytical Hamiltonian with twist parameter as a follow. So this one. And so HD means uh, drive Hamiltonian and HP denotes problem Hamiltonian. And large t uh, denotes the annealing Hamiltonian too. So we make the annealing Hamiltonian adding inhomogeneous twist operators to the drive Hamiltonian. So we want to optimize twist parameter, so theta j set. So here we use the gradient descent method to find the optimal theta set, okay? So we introduce the, uh, the update, so gradient descent or uh, update uh, method, okay? So at first, uh, the first step is the numerical differentiation. So numerical, numerical differentiation is, so this, this uh, formula, and so where, so E, so A N, this one, you know, the ground state energy obtained by QA. And so next, 
So epsilon for this one and this one denote the small value to which we, we choose. And last one, this one. Um, so large t opt, so denotes the optimal annealing time t. And so next, uh, so when we, so using the numerical differentiation, uh, so we update the twist operator theta so using numerical differentiation so as follows. So this one. And so alpha denotes the running rate. And this, this is, uh, so we, we choose so this value. And um, so we repeat for step one and step two. So we can obtain uh, optimal Mm, this parameter theta. Okay, so we review the, our method, and so our method, um, the concept of our method is uh, this figure. So at first we obtain uh, energy using uh, twisted to a. So this one, this one, and um, so update to this parameter, so using uh, Pascal computer. And so this is old uh, twisted parameter and this is new twisted parameter. And so next one, so we obtain the uh, energy using twisted QA with uh, new twisted parameters. And so we repeat, we, re uh, we repeat so this cycle. Okay, so we find the optimal twist parameter using the gradient descent, um, considering the energy as a cost function. Okay, this. Okay, so next, uh, so we perform a numerical calculation using uh, following the GK SL master equation, uh, or the math master equation. And so this equation, is uh, this one and um, so sigma uh, jk or nk denotes the final matrices on the j side and so we choose it as so sigma jz so this one and uh, what t denotes the density matrix this one is density matrix and uh, gamma denotes the decoherence rate and so we choose it as so gamma equal to this uh, value. And uh, so in uh, this numerical calculation, so we choose uh, running rate as this value, okay? And so we, de we demonstrate uh, twist it to A, so when the problem Hamiltonian is the hydrogen molecule, the Hamiltonian of hydrogen molecule is given by, so this one. And where, so we use the ST or Sanji basis and Jordan Wigner transformation. The coefficient, so H0 and H1, uh, H14 of the Hamiltonian depend on the interatomic distance. And uh, yeah, so we obtain this value using uh, open fermion uh, software. Uh, it is known that the ground state of hydrogen molecule is approximately the product state in the Hartree Fock approximation. And so we choose the uh, interatomic distance as 0 0.74 Hartree. Okay. okay, we show uh, numerical results. At first, uh, so energy spectrum. So left figure, so this one is energy spectrum of conventional QA. And uh, so this one, so right, right figure is uh, energy spectrum of uh, twisted QA. And we can see that energy gap is open. So here and here. And so next, uh, energy step, against uh, energy uh, against step number. So, so
So blue line denotes a variational treated case. And so dot line denotes conventional scheme case. And so this label means um, energy error. So this figure shows the energy uh, convergence. And so next, uh, make a result. So energy against annealing time. And so blue line uh, means a variational twisted case. So our scheme. And so orange line means uh, conventional scheme. And so this, uh, this rubber means uh, annealing time. So the annealing time corresponding to the peak of energy for twisted QA is shorter than that for conventional QA. And we find that the effect of uh, non adiabatic transition is less than the effect of the coherence. Okay. And so the last uh, make a result, uh, purity. The purity is defined as uh, this, this value. And so this value means that how close to the um, pure state it is. Okay. And so blue line, so this one, uh, this here is a uh, variational case. And so this orange line is a uh, conventional case. So the purity of twisted QA is higher than uh, that of uh, conventional QA. So therefore, twisted QA suppresses the effect of the coherence compared to conventional QA. Okay, so this is a summary in our talk. Okay, so summary. So we propose a method for improving the accuracy of quantum annealing using twisted variators. And so this method uh, the concept of this method is uh, this figure. And so we try to uh, demonstrate for uh, hydrogen molecule and our method suppresses the effect of the coherence and our method uh, suppresses uh, non adaptive transitions. Um, so thank you for <coughs> attention. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Rimoto. It's time for a few questions. <clears throat> From the online participants, maybe? Uh, the, um, can you go to the slide where you're showing uh, error versus annealing time? Error versus annealing time. Annealing time? Error versus yes. annealing time, yes. Uh, before. This, yeah, energy error mm. versus annealing time. So why, why does it seem to be a drop, like for the variational twist method, why is it dropping and then increasing again? Like, I mean, the error seems to be very less for very less annealing time. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, the, uh, yes, so, uh, so so in this demonstration, uh, so we are considering uh, so the, the effect of the coherence. So therefore, uh, so we we can see that a peak of uh, energy error. Uh, so it, it, it is okay not. Okay, so the effect of decoherence is the reason for this increase at long times, right? Do I understand well? <clears throat> Other questions? Daniel. Could you go to the slide where you define the Lindblad master equation model? This one? Yes. And now, could you explain why the twist can um, overcome 
or cancel this decoherence? Oh, uh, okay. So, yes. So we we treat it as um. So this this decoherence type, and uh. So. So our twisted operator is so this one. And so this uh, operator uh, this op um, so yeah, this one man. So yeah, so the uh, so the, this Hamiltonian is um the uh, so it uh, represent uh, sigma x plus um so sigma z um uh, uh, yes yeah, so alpha sigma x plus alpha sigma z z um uh, so plane so we, we can find optimal so therefore uh, so for example so hd if uh, drive hamiltonian is uh, the longitude uh, magnetic field uh, so we, we can suppress uh, the, this type uh, so the coherence so is it okay no, no. Um, I, I find it hard to believe that this works. Um, the reason is that um, you are changing the Hamiltonian only. And yes. uh, um, <laughs> there's nothing that, that seems to cancel out the uh, the term that uh, uh, causes decoherence, the sum over n, uh, which is not Hamiltonian, right? Um, there is a technique called dynamical decoupling, which uh, reminds me a little bit of what you're doing here, but that would involve um, fast pulsing, so turning on and off, on and off very fast, the, um, the driver, like uh, like you seem to be doing, but 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 you're not doing that. You're not turning the driver on and off. You're you're just changing it once, if I understand it correctly. So it's it's very hard to see why you can cancel decoherence here. Anyway, maybe we can <clears throat> discuss that later. Okay. So other questions? If not, let's uh, thank Dr. Kimoto again, and <laughs> we have a, a coffee break on the terrace.